Meanwhile in Africa. A number of years ago, I flew in a small plane, a Cessna four-seater from Zambia to South Africa. And as we flew over Botswana, the sun was busy going down. We still had about two hours to fly. We suddenly lost all power, all electricity, and everything had to be done manually. As the sun set, it became dark. I remember the pilot, he took out the book that said what to do in case of emergency. And <laughs> yes, it is in times like that where you realize how important it is that you know the secrets of life, the things that will pull you through when you're in tough times. This last week, Farai and Jane and uh, Andrew and myself had the privilege to be in Honda Valley to meet with 14 church leaders and their wives. Mm -hmm. And we sat down and we dug deep into the manual of life. <laughs> we took the Bible and we ripped it open. We made it available. We built a bridge between all of us. Every one of us understood. Right from Genesis, the promise was made that someone would come to set us free. Someone would come to help us to land safely. Someone would be there to watch this revelation taking place and how the application of this incredible news, without us prompting it, started filtering down to our children. How we started putting the dots together that if we can land safely, and we've got this knowledge. Maybe our children can also land safely. So what does it mean, this good news? And we sat till early in the mornings and till late in the afternoons, sometimes in scorching heat. And we duck into this word and we could see how eyes opened, um, how people stood up and say, this is the first time in my life I understand that I've been given life. I can make a choice. We know this. We've got this manual. You know that pilot, when he pulled that manual out and I sat in the dark behind his shoulder and I looked at him, you know what my first thought was? I hope he studied this manual before now. I hope he's only reading it now to encourage himself because this is getting late now. He should know this information to make sure that we land safely tonight. How familiar are you with the manual of life, God's word, to make sure that you land safely? www.handsatwork.org